crude oil and natural gas both have started the week and the day with a little recovery specifically natural gas is the one which is uh, open with bullish note and it has in fact already is seen trading above three dollar levels and in fact has hit 3.04 can we expect this momentum to continue today can we expect the oil and gas to recover strongly or there is a possibility of a bearishness where to buy where to sell and how to profit we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators first we are going to see crude oil followed with natural gas watch till the end uh, and yes this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the us session the subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start start with first wti if you look at the early chart see consolidation here then the rise consolidation is going on right now you can see support levels at 75 and the resistance at 76 in between there's a dollar levels we have to be careful here also if you look at taking the support it is trying to rise strong we have to wait for it to break beyond 75.8 76 zone once it stays above this you can expect another round of a breakout taking it till towards 76.5 77 zone and uh, as i've shared in my weekly review and in my monthly review as well beyond 78 and 80 zone is where the bulls are waiting and then the bullish momentum may prevail right now i can say it is trying to stay in a narrow zone or trying to retrace moving averages have crossed over signs of bullishness stock stick is overbought here the magd has tried to converge it is not yet crossed over if it does show a crossover it can recover strongly on the upside rsi is rising signs of bullishness here coming to two hour charts see on the two hour charts moving averages have crossed over here this is again sign of bullishness it is taking the support from the same level this is also a good sign but i can see the complete movement is squeezed between this 20 50 100 zone and thus it is very very important for it to give a breakout either which ways either above 76 or below 70 the stock stick is rising the magd is almost flat here it is not yet crossed over and you can see that it has come after a stronger rise and it is trying to trade with bearish buy. So I will say as long as 76 levels are not crossed over today. And in fact, for the week 77, 78 is the zone where we have maximum resistance. So I will not treat this as bullish as long as 77, 78 levels are not taken. RSI is showing a rise again, signs of little bullishness coming to 3R. Look at 3R charts, the rise here and the drop retracement it is it can again try to rise we have to wait 76.4 76.5 5. first target zone if it stays above 76 and then uh, 76.8 77 the next beyond 77 we can say that the bulls are back in action stock has stick dropping towards the oversold levels now trying to recover a little the magd is almost running flat not showing much signs rsi is also trying to show a little bullishness on the four hour the observation is more or less same taking the support trying to bounce back and yes we have to wait for it to break beyond our 95.896 zone which will confirm the rise towards 96.5 and higher levels here right now also if you can observe here a very strong support was seen here then this is the next base it is trying to create here at 975 and beyond 76 is where we can see little bullishness for the day the stock elastic oversold trying to recover magd is still in green it has not yet crossed over rsi is almost running flat coming to daily and yes before we look into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading you can be part of my 31st mentorship batch starting today do not miss to join this learning journey where we have encapsulated all my years of experiences in the form of tools techniques strategies and the trade setups so that you can all trade profitably and comfortably reach out to me for details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description and again you can connect on the same ids if you want to join my telegram signals channel as well now also yes those who had asked me to recommend a broker where you can trade all the global instruments which is available across the globe and yes which offers you a swap free account with the lowest spreads and the no hidden charges you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now look at the daily charts see couple of bullish candle one swing candle today it is started on a flat note we have to just wait for it to break beyond 76. It is trading with little divergence from the 20 period moving average and the median of the Willinger bands. So once it stays above 76, uh, there is a stronger possibility that we may see a rise towards uh, 76.4, 76.5 and then 76.8, 77 zone, which is going to be a greater resistance zone. So 77.2 also I'm including, this is going to be a greater resistance zone on the upside. Only and only if oil is seen trading above 77.2, we can say, 
then the bulls are back in action also uh, one thing also you should that now 75 has become a very very strong support and uh, thus only below 75 we should treat this as bearish here so where you should sell see buying entries you have got in fact you can buy here at 75.8 itself when you see the lower price is above 75.8 you can take a buying entry and for a selling entry though ideally you should wait for 75 but those who are willing to risk a little can sell here at 75.2 levels so 75.2 75.8 ideally should be a noted zone where you should observe 75 and 76 is a largely with a moderate risk zone where the direction is still not clear below 75 is where we can look forward to a drop towards 74.6 74.4 zone first target zone 73.8 the next and below that more bearishness is going to prevail taking it till towards 73 and lower levels chances of which appears to be less take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at natural See, natural gas has given a gap up today and see it is trading with little divergence from the 20 period and also it is seen taking a little resistance from 3.04, 3.05 zone. Now, if you see it trading below $3 levels, which is going to be an important support, we can look forward to 2.98, 2.95, If you see nat gas is staying below 2.92, then you can say that the bears are back in action. Else, you can very clearly see, uh, see it is trading with divergence, it's staying bullish, higher lows, higher highs are seen. Where are the lows here at around 2.9 levels? So these levels are going to remain a stronger support zone. The stock has been dropping from the overbought. MACD is seen in trading in green, trying to converge. And see, it is at slightly overbought level. So possibility of a little retracement exists here. RSI is overbought, trying to come out of the overbought zone here on the early charts. Look at the two. On the two hour chart, see preceding three candle higher lows are seen. This candle is trying to give a breakout. We have to wait for it to drop below $3 levels. Uh, below 3, we can expect 2.98, 2.95 zone. And then if you see it is staying below 2.92 is where you can say that the bears will be back in action. And then 2.85 is going to be the next target. So uh, a little retracement on the downside is something you can expect here. Though it is trading bullish, the stock stochastic is overbought here. The MACD is also trading bullish here. Trading with divergence, the RSI is staying overbought. Coming to 3 the candle has just started higher lows are seen lower highs are seen either it has to break beyond 3.04 or trade below 2.98 in fact you can sell though at three dollar levels itself so three to three point oh four levels are a no trade zone for net gas for the day if you look at the stock i this is extremely overbought the MACD is extremely divergent extremely bullish and it is almost at the highs here from where we have seen the fall last time the rsi is extremely overbought as well coming to four on the four hour charts also the observation is more or less same and if you track the movement here rise retracement rise retracement rise it could retrace and the lows here are at around 2.9 2.9 zone stock is sick overbought MACD bullish rsi is overbought so on uh, all the time frames it has come towards slightly overbought zone and thus a little retracement is something we can expect here now look the day has started with a slight swing it has already achieved the highs and it is also confining its movement here at three dollar levels now when the next candle starts because see this is a weak beginning zone and the new candle on this chart is yet to start when you see it is staying below three dollar levels uh potentially we may see a little retracement here and that could be the beginning of a little down move for net gas what should be the target we can look forward to uh, 2.9 to 2.9 zone and in fact lower levels are, can also be expected here but if you look at largely on the daily charts we can see after the retracement here and forming a nice flag it is seen taking support from the 20 period moving average and it is now trading in this bullish channel almost hitting the highs there is a possibility of a little retracement on the downside the stock stick is overbought look at MACD uh, MACD after showing a good rise, it is retraced here with a strong bearishness. It is now trying to recover. It has just crossed. But since this is coming from a higher level, there is a potential for further downside. If you look at RSI, this is rising. So looking at this, I will recommend you to buy only at 3.0405 zone. Expect it to move towards, if it breaks 3.0405, then the next target is towards 3.0405. 08, 3.1 levels, first target zone, and then 3.1415, the next. Beyond this, sky is the limit, though uh, 3.2, 3.24 zone is something which is going to be the next strongest resistance here. For this to happen, today is, I think, going to be difficult. On the downside, a selling entry I will recommend is at $3 levels. 
but then 2.98 first target 2.95 the second and then 2.92 levels will come into picture once it draws below 2.92 more bearishness is going to be seen towards 2.88 2.85 levels take your trades accordingly like share subscribe join my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out to me for your queries related to the support or your queries related to the services do not miss to watch the next update before the us session that will also set the direction for the rest of the day the subscribe to the channel press the bell icon join the free telegram channel for live updates and the join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort thank you have a great profitable trading day thank